What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Chucky Season 3 Part 2 in this video here today. We'll mostly be going over everything we know about the upcoming season so far. And again, I hope and pray that this second half will air sometime in the spring or the summer and not in the fall in october if the network will allow them to please network allow them to release it in the summer or the spring if it is ready to be released because we've been waiting and we've been patient now just to start off we know the episode titles or so we think we do uh four out of the or three out of the four that are left episode five allegedly is titled anger denial and bargaining depression murder episode six still does not have a title episode seven there will be blood and then episode eight final destination now if i were to bet and make a wild prediction probably a sensible prediction given the title is final destination and we have devin sawa back into the mix of things as per usual i would predict final destination is where devin sawa will bite the dust this season that's my prediction probably going to be poetic <laughs> if these episode titles stick and it would be fitting since again we know he is from final destination but the other stuff we know is related to the fact that we are going to be meeting the good guy dog creator so john waters is back he will be playing reportedly wendell wilkins who reportedly again made the good guy dolls he's the creator i never thought about who made these dolls so when i saw this news just like i'm sure many of you probably hadn't considered who this person is this person probably has a lot of interesting conversations or details to share with us and reportedly this person will get caught up in the latest batch of shenanigans that chucky is dealing with in the second half of the season with his aging process my prediction is that chucky will seek out this person for a new body granted it didn't even work when they tried to switch their soul into caroline so why go after this person for a new body unless there's some twist in the mix related to the body that makes chucky believe going after this person will work for them uh we know fiona dorf will return as nika according to this post from jennifer tilly on x or twitter if you will and those set photos she took with john waters that have been making the rounds online i've seen those two honestly nika is it just me or does anyone else feel like nika is kind of just being dropped as a character the ball was dropped you know she was supposed to get this revenge on tiffany all the revenge seemed to be was she called the cops on her <laughs> that's all it seemed like she called the cops tiffany got put to trial and tiffany is in prison granted i'm not saying nika had to go after her with some bloody revenge angle but it seems like she had something up her sleeve by the end of season two that was a little bit more involved than just, hey, I called the cops on you. And then Nika, she again, she just feels like she's kind of just there getting lost in the background of it all and not very important to the story. That's just my take on Nika. I hope something important happens with Nika during the second half, but we'll see. Devin and Jake are going to go to the witch doctor or at least a scene that could be cut, of course, lets us know plans exist for them to get involved with the witch doctor likely going to this person for answers related to what's happening with chucky the aging and all that stuff tiffany will escape prison since we see a riot unfolding during the teaser for part two looks like an explosion of sorts is going on with inmates running around and that most definitely most likely i should say is related to tiffany escaping also we know chucky's aging seems to be getting absolutely horrendous judging from the hair loss in the crypt keeper look he's rocking or the jamie lee curtis look if you will if you're a freaky friday fan out there also i've told you guys i've heard this is allegedly less open of an ending than season two or season one which set the table for the next sequel or the next seasons after the fact so we'll see how true that ends up being and how conclusive the ending of season three will be it's also assumed that President Collins will die thanks to this behind the scenes image here with us assuming this is President Collins dead on the floor after Chucky has disposed of him. Brad Dorf we know will appear most likely as a ghost of Chucky or some other entity at the White House. Most importantly in the stuff we know so far remember Don Mancini has confirmed that a seance sequence will take place during the second half of this season. Nine times out of ten is going to be related to the Collins and their interest in reaching out to Henry after President Collins recent discovery of ghosts in the White House. Chucky and Tiffany also seem to be on the same page again or at least have gotten back to the more peaceful part of this toxic pairing since Tiffany is heard telling Chucky to go out in a blaze of glory from the teaser chucky will likely have a midlife crisis of sorts too where he has to contend with his relevance in modern society with dolls like annabelle and megan out there those words came from don mancini so we'll see how all of that if at all 
ties into the second half of season three. And if it's going to really pertain to any particular doll, it wouldn't be Annabelle as much as I think it would pertain to Chucky's grappling with where he stands and how he compares to, an, to a creation like Megan. We'll see if Megan even gets brought up in the second half. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to the second half of Chucky season three? Why or why not? Do you, like me, think that Chucky season three part two will be the better half of the season? Because like I stated, I still have this season at a 6.5 out of 10. That is not a fail at all whatsoever. I have gone out on record saying I think this is the weakest just off of everything we have presented to us and what we were promised we would be getting. I do still think this is the weakest. However, that could easily change off of four episodes that remain. That can easily change off of four episodes that remain. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.